wanted to give a couple of you guys out there that have asked questions. Um, we started off with this A-frame style cabin. And one of the nice things with A-frame is, is they shed a lot of snow. And uh, one of the bad things is, is that you don't have a whole lot of windows that you can use because the water just runs down and I haven't seen a good way yet um, without some pretty extensive dormers or something like that to cover them up to get good views out of it. So we decided to do something a little bit different. Um, we took and added on the up porch three ways around on, on three sides. So with the porch out on that side and being able to go down and put in those extra foundation supports down there, what we were able to do is, there's my boy Connor working on the rebar railing still, is we were able to tilt this wall out so that it went straight down. And so originally, our front door went in right over here and uh, we didn't have this fireplace area right here um, but this gave it a lot better I don't know more appealing front end look and with this tilting out we can have beautiful you know sunlight and windows that come in and now this becomes our main door um, and the reason that windows are so important I'm sure for any of you that have cabins is when you have a view, you want to make sure that you capitalize on it. Now with tilting this wall out, it kind of did a, a couple things. Um, just to let you know, so if you do decide to try it, this is the back. We put a big picture window in so that we could look across there and see when the deer are walking down the, the canyon. Um, but what it did was, is with the heavy timber supports that they use for A-frames, those were still on the inside. And so I'll show you what we did to kind of take care of that. Right here by the door, you'll see there's still one of the heavy timber supports. And then on this side of the door, there's another heavy timber support. And then down on the far end, it's hard with the light. But on the far end down here, another heavy timber support right there. And so what we did was, is we just took the original stairs that were in here were made out of that four by nine and a half inch huge um, lumber. And we put in a beam. I custom built some brackets um, that you can see right there. Just welded those up and ran through with five inch bolts off the back side. We put that beam and it spanned two, spanned two of the, uh, the heavy timber supports and then we were able to take them out. And you can see down here on the bottom, that's where they used to be, there and there. But man, it opens this whole wall up. So now on an A-frame cabin, you can now have a normal, normal-ish 10 by 10 kitchen right here that would go in that corner. And what I'm going to do in this corner right here, and why I say normal-ish, is because I'm going to build out 2 by 2, because that's the width of the cabinets on the bases, build a 2 by 2 pillar that goes up in that corner spot right there, so that the cabinets down here will just butt right into that. And the ones on this side will butt into that side. And then we probably won't have any top cabinets um, in this cabin. We'll just have a fridge right there. But we were able to do that on both sides. And just make tons and tons. This, this one's finished a little bit different over here. But tons and tons of just flat space where it should have looked like this with the A-frame, taking up an extra ton of space in your cabin because if you follow the line straight up from there, 
you lose two feet for every 10 feet of raise on this cabin. But over here, not so much anymore. So it worked out really good. And you get to keep your views. But uh, yeah, I guess if you have any more questions, put them down in the subject line and try and be nice. And uh, we'll talk to you later.